so I now have to fess up and say that, yeah, this whole entire time, if it wasn't apparent, was being emulated. This was me using Yuzu. I originally was going to use Ryujinx, but Ryujinx has some minor graphical issues. It had to be the boat disappearing in the beginning of the game, or the coin in the chapter intro is being black. And uh, the save bug also being black as well. So, granted, um, Yuzu also has some graphical issues, rather, it's something that flips as in the boat in the beginning of the game also or the staircase flipping in Hooktail Castle but so far playing this on YouTube hasn't really been that bad to be honest and the mods that I was using really helped out as well so the 60 FPS patch, the fast text patch um, disabling some shaders here and there and there are also some mods that brings the game back to its original state Rather it be something like restoring the outline drawing of the toad, or the bunny ears for the booze, or the Goombas flirting with Goombella, so or the um, Shadow Siren restoration, so you can call the three sisters the Shadow Sirens again. But other than that, um, I mostly focus on improvements. Rather it be just bringing the game to where it needs to be because on the GameCube it ran 60 frames per second and on the Switch it ran 30 so I said no I would I rather run this on 60 frames per second and that's the mod and work here so what I didn't know was that um, an item known as a repel cape would crash the game and I would have to go into some folders and delete some things and then put the game back again put the game back up again because what would happen is that um, after the game crashes it is a guaranteed crash until you go into folders and start deleting the shaders I think it is so after doing that and booting the game back up again, um, anytime that a repel cape is used while the game is running on Vulcan, that's a crash. It will crash every time. So what's happening here is that I have it on open goal, hence why you see all the graphical issue of the shadow popping and um, him with the repel cape um, effect. You can see like his body parts are going in and out of each other. I don't think that no, obviously not. That's not how it's supposed to happen. I think it's supposed to be transparent and just him waving all over the place, but I don't know how that will be emulated, so I will say this right now. The best way to play this game, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door on Nintendo Switch is on an actual Nintendo Switch console. However, I will say right now that I think it would be best if this game was played on Nintendo's new console that everyone keeps talking about so just to get this out there the switch honestly really isn't a powerful console because games don't run at 60 frames all the time and sometimes you would get some frame rate drops. In fact, I remember when Tears of the Kingdom was coming out that the game would have to be updated to become stable. So the Switch is just not powerful. In fact, I would go so far to say that it's on par with something like the Wii U. And I think the Wii U is kind of on par with the Switch, but... Like, I, I don't know if the Switch can do it all. Whether it's running a game like, say, Zimbabwe Chronicles X, if that ever gets ported, or... Like, I don't know how Zimbabwe Chronicles uh, Definitive Edition would play out. But, I will say right now, unless people out there are gonna jailbreak the Nintendo Switch console to make the game better, or how it's supposed to be, um, the best way to do this is to play this game on that new console. Now, as of this recording, Nintendo has not had a showcase 
nor have they even made any sort of announcement. So what I'm basically waiting for is Nintendo to speak up and say something about it. Now, obviously they said that they weren't not, oh yeah, you heard that? Yep, audio bugs, that's what I was in up and go. So they said that they were not gonna speak of the new console in this upcoming showcase just whatever games are coming out because as it is right now the only game that hasn't come out yet is Luigi's Mansion 2 HD so that's pretty much where we're at right now and knowing Nintendo they always wait at the last moment just to say something and I know how excruciating the wait is especially when Xbox and PlayStation has their showcases and it's, it's a bummer, but I think Nintendo is one of those companies where they hold their presentations at the very last moment. Like, saving the best for last year. So, I, just, I also want to point this out that I personally don't really condone or encourage anyone to try emulation. The reason why I try it is because I don't have a Switch and I didn't have any plans on buying one I was hoping for the switch to improve by adding in features that were either on the Wii U or 3DS rather be music in the eShop, themes, like backgrounds you know just to liven up the system and honestly that didn't happen so I'm guessing that all of that will happen on this new console that people are dubbing the switch to and I'm not even that crazy about it but at the same time I wish the switch was better which would prompt me to buy one because so far I just don't like I don't really have a strong desire to buy one but there are some games that I do want to play on it and this is one of them so with all this in mind I do want to say that um, the mods provided for this game have been top-notch and it's a shame that Nintendo had made some changes to the game which prompted people to just make mods and it can becomes difficult for people with the original hardware to get access to this assuming that they don't know how to jailbreak I don't know how to jailbreak but you know it's worth a try so who knows so yeah, like, as you see, the machine, see where it's black, it's supposed to be, like, what, gold? And then, yeah, another audio glitch. So, how I'm doing this is that instead of recording this with OBS Studio, because in the recording in OBS, um, the footage would just be on the bottom left corner, upside down. Now, recording the footage, it would just record, like, rogue port, all distorted and whatnot. So, I just said, you know what, no. I'm just gonna record this with the Xbox game bar and just talk over it like I'm doing right now just so I can get through this and getting through this I am so it's unfortunate that I had to split it into three I was hoping to just get the second half out of the way but I think it's way better to do this in three parts just to make viewership a bit easier I originally didn't really intend the uh, videos to be like over an hour long but when chapters like this are so eventful you know I feel like it can't be helped if assuming that I want to just chop them up in smaller parts which I think I find it easier to just have it have one video have as much content as possible but oh man that's gonna hurt the ears but at the same time I feel like that's gonna be time consuming so I you know think I leave it up to the people how they want to digest this thing so with that in mind um shout outs to the people who are modding the game to make this better than what it is on console but support this on console you should Especially when Nintendo is trying to get back into the groove of Paper Mario after the debacle that was Sticker Star, Color Splash, or Gami King, and they've been handing out servers, uh, servers, surveys to some Reddit users. Don't know why that, but anyways, yes, 
this game is better off on that new console, whatever that is. And with all that in mind, um, swinging it back to real time. Alright, uh, back to the present here, at least in my sense. So, yeah, wow. That was uh, quite a revelation, ain't it? Oh boy, yeah. So, uh, as you previously heard, yeah, the best way, the definitive way to experience this is for one. With a purchase copy of this, either with either you bought it at your local retailer or you purchase it digitally on Nintendo's eShop. Some of the eShop is still around. And with that new console that people keep talking about. Hopefully the specs are um, on par with something like the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, but that's just pure speculation at that point. Hmm. So, yeah, this took a while, but got past it. And I'm thinking, goodness, that I, yeah, got past it. Some books in here. All right, so back here, live time. Let's be tech again. Yeah. But shower time. Holy shower time, you don't know. Yeah, she's summoning her castle thing. Lovely. <sighs> so, as of now, I'm just uh, pretty much waiting on whatever announcement that Nintendo has to say. Not about whatever games are coming out, but um, whatever new console they have in store, which is not going to happen probably this year. So, just got to wait until the next one. Which I think is a little bit appropriate, considering that um, they're technically moving on from the current Nintendo Switch to... Um, whatever the new console is people say switch 2 switch pro I yeah, I'm indifferent. I have no say but hopefully it is Powerful as whatever Sony and Microsoft are putting out at this very moment Eh, computers can be weird. Even ones that watch you. Potting. Scheming. Waiting for their dominant rule to arise. I don't even know that would mean the robot apocalypse. It might as well just mean, like, just robots aren't the superior race. Reminds me of a plot line. Yeah, this one. Oh, what about the what about these? Nah. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. But that's it. Hmm. I don't think it happens with her. Um. No. All right. All right. Hopefully it fits. Oh, yeah. Right. Then we change. Oh, she... Hmm, huh. alright then. Go time. Alright, now where to? Oh, you know what? Uh, are there any hints? Nope. Oh, alright. So we'll just roll in the mud and it's much nicer then. Alright. You know what? Uh, we'll just bring it down. Nope, not this one. I may not imagine that we eh, should be a bit taller we're in this oh no here it is kind of reminds me of the first one hmm you smell nice intruder she knows like their salute okay all right just back yep off of that thing okay now she needs a shower Anything different. Eh, sometimes it's nice to wear something different. Maybe a pink dress with star patterns or a pink dress with peach patterns. Or just wear a different pink dress. I don't know. Hmm. 
<sighs> no computer love this time. Yeah, no. Yeah, thanks for the correction. Not like she needs it. in this uh, chapter, the big crowd. wonder what that is. Actually. So I just want to take yeah, this off and slap on uh looking around. First this one. And ba, 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 this one. Uh ran into some close calls here. And it's only bound to get worse, so no. Oh, well, all right. So, if there's nothing else, this doesn't look like it seems to be the case.
Yeah, I like to run in a cheap, cheap blimp. but I, I can't ignore or deny what happened along the way. Oh, hey! Ah, he misses ringtone. Right? Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds me of Luigi disguise and pins up his peach from uh, Dalletta. Yeah. Sticking with him in case he just does anything stupid. Oh man, I, I gotta hit up that kitchen at some point, man. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know I can never say no to some jam and jelly. Okay, and this one makes me worry. Some jam and jelly, though. Mm-mm. Can't say no to that. That's a lot of that's a lot of coins. Wow. I do an HP. I'm pretty good. Actually no, that level up helped out, so. Oh yeah. I guess not. Well, I guess no. Oh bam! Ooh! Oh my god, that's so perfect. Looks like someone's gonna get a little stronger. Yes, you are. A 
Mr. Yolster. Yoink. Oh, okay. That makes it a bit easier. Nani? Oh, huh. You know what? Uh, I don't want to start anything, but uh, will they have sea salt ice creams there? Hmm. Oh, no senses, I guess. Oh, that's a shame. She is. Yep. 
And Koops will remain a soldier. Until the war is won.